This in-service video is for the UltraClean Systems Model 1150, a single basin system, and the 1522, which is a double basin system. To open the lid on the Model 1150, lift the handle up gently until the lid is fully open. Make sure the tabs are in the locked position. For rinsing, a convenient spray nozzle is provided on both models. For details on how to properly load instruments into the baskets, refer to the basket loading video. Once the trays are loaded, insert the bottom tray with the port cut out on the right side as you are facing the machine. This tray should sit flat with nothing touching the rod on the bottom. Attach the quick connect hose from the basket to port number one on the inside of your machine. Next, insert the top tray again with the port cut out on the right side, then attach the quick connect hose from this tray to port number two inside your machine. Once both baskets are loaded properly, close the lid. To log into your system, press the Enter Number box on the screen. A number pad will be displayed where you should enter your identification login code and press Enter. The default login code is 9713. This will bring up the Menu 1 screen. To adjust the preset timers, select the timer button from Menu 1. A number pad will pop up to enter an authorization code. Since this is the Model 1150, the authorization code is 1150, followed by the Enter button. This gives you access to change the many timers in your machine, as well as other settings. These settings should only be changed by supervisors or technicians. In page 1 of the Timers menu, the first option is the Fill Timer, which sets the duration for filling the machine with water at the beginning of a cycle. Add Detergent Time is preset and should not be changed. The closed lid setting determines the amount of time you have to close the lid before an alarm sounds. Degas basin is for facilities that have extremely hard water or high amounts of gas. The default is set at only one second. The drain is set at 220 seconds and should not be changed. Rinse time is the number of seconds that rinse water goes through the instruments on a lumen cycle or a rinse and dry only cycle. Buzzer is the number of seconds that the buzzer will sound during alarms. Air purge is the number of seconds that air gets pushed through lumen instruments. Add detergent in ounces determines the amount of detergent that is added and can be changed. Sonic power is the percentage of ultrasonics before getting a low sonic alarm. This setting should not be changed. Press the top right arrow to advance to page 2 of the timer's menu. The short time is the length of time for short cycles and is preset to 480 seconds or 8 minutes. The long time is the length of time for long cycles and is preset to 780 seconds or 13 minutes. Temperature is the basin water temperature setting and should never be changed. Pressing the top right arrow again advances you to the input output menu. This screen is used by technicians to test the various functions and components in your machine. This menu should only be used by qualified technicians. To add and remove assigned operators in the system, select the Supervisor Tech button. Enter the code 3179 and press Enter to access this menu. To view a list of operators and their login information, press the Operator Assignments button. Up to 50 operators can be assigned logins for each machine. To create or delete an operator login, press the Name Entry box and type their name using the keypad, then select Enter. To enter their identification number, press the Number Entry box and type their ID number, followed by pressing Enter. To assign their storage location number on the Operator Assignments log, press the Number Entry box and assign their number, followed by pressing Enter. Once all of the information is entered, select Record Operator Data to create the new operator login. To delete a login for a particular operator, enter in all of the operator's data, then press Erase Operator Data. This will remove the operator login from the assignment list and prevent operation by that user. If open access to this machine is desired without the need for logins, press the Login Required button to turn that feature off. To reinstate the use of logins, press and hold the Login Not Required button until it changes to Login Required. To save the data log information using UCS Verify, insert the USB thumb drive into the port on the right side of the front panel. When the menu appears on screen, select Transfer SD Data Log to USB. Once the data is transferred, press Acknowledge and then cancel out of that menu. Press Eject USB to remove the thumb drive and, if desired, select Erase Data Log Data. To begin a cycle, go back to Menu 1 and press the Operator button, which will bring up the Basin Select screen. 
From this screen, you have an input output button, a menu button, basin select, stop button, time, temperature, and ultrasonic percentage. Press the basin select button to select which kind of cycle you want to run. This brings up the cycle select menu. From this menu, you can choose from two basket cycles. The short cycles have an 8 minute ultrasonic duration, and long cycles have a 13 minute ultrasonic duration. Short wash and long wash will wash but not drain for times when you want to conserve and reuse water. Short wash drain and long wash drain will drain the basin after the wash cycle. Lumen cycles are for instruments that need to be flushed, such as laparoscopic, robotic, and orthopedic instruments. The short lumen cycle will wash for 8 minutes, drain, rinse, and air purge. The long lumen wash will do the same but with a 13 minute wash. Once a lumen wash cycle has started, you can adjust the flow control as needed. The Rinse and Air Purge button can be used when you want to perform an extra rinse and air purge. Drain only simply empties a basin that was left full. Once you begin a cycle, a countdown timer updates you on the amount of time left in a cycle. If you need to abort a cycle for any reason, simply press the stop button. Operators should log out of the system after the cycle has finished running. To do this, simply press Log Out from Menu 1. At the end of each day, operators should clean the water level sensors inside the machine. Using a clean cotton swab, clean the primary level sensor and the overflow sensor. Also, the basin filter should be changed at least once per 8-hour shift. For more information, visit ultracleansystems.com or call us toll-free at 1-877-935-6624.